Now, this is what you could expect after five days, a week. You're gonna have a tank that could possibly be something that you're gonna be afraid of. I mean, it's gonna look, it's gonna look scary. Come take a look at this scary looking tank. This tank is full of diatom algae. Now, every new, I'm not gonna say every new, cause it's not 100% guaranteed, but most new saltwater aquariums will go through, a, they will go through something called a diatom algae bloom. This right here is what you call a diatom algae bloom. All of this brown algae, I mean, it looks absolutely disgusting. There are certain things that you could do to prevent this. It's caused by high phosphates, silicates, things like that. You could get some animals that will eat that. You could get like algae, not algae eaters. You could get like lawnmower blinis. You could get, uh, uh, you could get diamond gobies. You could get some kind of invertebrates, some hermit crabs. Certain things will actually assist with breaking that up starfish sand sifting starfish sand stars it's going to turn it up nazareth nazareth snails no nasarius snails it's going to basically turn up that it's going to eat it it's going to do things like that it's going to allow your filters to work better so we were going to we were going to clean this off but i thought what will most people do most people will clean it but there, there will be some people out there that's going to go and buy some kind of cleanup crew cleanup crews are necessary for saltwater aquarium so we went out we got a cleanup crew. We already had a small cleanup crew, but we got another cleanup crew. We have some Nasteria snails. Now, these Nasteria snails are wonderful because they love to turn over the sand. They bury themselves in the sand. They burrow themselves in the sand, and they also turn it over. They will eat all of the diatom algae. They will eat a lot of the old food that the fish miss, things like that. Very, very helpful for an aquarium. Also, we have the diamond goby right here. Now this cool diamond goby is a sand sifter. Now, if we had this guy in here, more than likely we wouldn't even have half of this, but we'll see how he's gonna do with this stuff. But he's going to eat the sand or he's gonna take the sand in his mouth. He's gonna pull out this, out the organics and the sand is going to come out of his gills. So that is not what we got we couldn't just get cleanup crew y'all we had to get some eye candy so we did get some eye candy 